you know, we we, we going to go down this road because I think it, it, it's a dope conversation to have because I don't like right now, especially within the rap community, like, damn, like, like the feds is on everybody's social media. They literally are in the office with their feet up somewhere eating donuts. No, it's and a nice thing. Being, it got to be a nice thing being paid to watch complete. I mean, we have if we had hip hop police, you definitely know since social media that we got people that just sit there watching our watching our you know stuff, especially if you look like you into that type of stuff. And especially if you're young, because I need y'all young and in jail. That way I can lead the world to get y'all in jail. I need I need the world in jail. I don't need just the rappers in jail. I don't care about you one or two rappers. You know what I'm saying? Like, but if I get y'all, it leads to all them other cats thinking they somebody or this and that. So it makes it it makes my job easier. You know what I'm saying? Cause y'all falling down the line or whatever them young rappers doing. So you know, I know if I get him, y'all gonna fall out into the trap, think jail cool the whole night. Yeah, no, you 100 percent right. Like we live in a, a a a social media world that has just like things that that you wouldn't even dream could happen is not only happening, but it's happening on social media and it's happening. On live, where, where, where people are literally so addicted to likes and they're so addicted to views and they're so addicted to them heart emojis and, and, and thumbs up and all of that, that they're literally going on doing crimes and filming themselves doing crimes in real time. Like the, the cops don't even have to work no more. Like it's, it's the most bananas thing on the planet. But to your point, the kids they follow folks like yourself who are the rappers who 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 are the people who they look up to and when you got a lot of these uh just cuz just cuz you're making a lot of money doesn't mean you're mature just cuz you're making a lot of money don't mean that you got both feet out the hood so a lot of the kids is looking at some of these artists who who are still one foot in the hood, one foot not in the hood, and even if they're not in the hood, they want to still uh, put themselves out there and present themselves like, "Yo, I'm 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 about my business and I'm thorough," and they're just doing crazy stuff on the gram, which which is telling kids, "Yo, I might as well go ahead and do that too." And meanwhile, feds are sitting at home, sitting in the office with their feet up. And, and, and literally driving up, catching them in the act. And I just never even seen nothing like this or thought I'd see nothing like this in my lifetime. It's crazy. Oh, it's always been crazy. It's always been stuff. Everything that's been going on, been going on. It's just a little bigger gun. So now, you know what I'm saying? But it's been going on. It's just like you just said, we got social media now. You know what I'm saying? So we, they literally, you can see it. And like I said, just like an interview. You don't even realize you you telling on yourself. You don't even realize you. you but, they it. but they do. But they do. Now they they think they think nobody care about them because they small time. You feel what I'm saying? So they like they not realizing. But once you press play or record or whatever it is, it's there. Now somebody gonna grab it, and now it's a thing. You know what I'm saying? And you you don't went thing. You ain't try to go viral, but you knew what you was doing when you recorded because you be talk to your little friends. That's your see. It's almost like this. We went outside to play, right? When we was young, our kids are now on the game and their friends are online. You feel what I'm saying? So they build certain communities, just like a gang almost. So that's what these kids are doing. So when you see somebody filming themselves, beating somebody up and taking his chain real quick and putting his chain on, he is in love with his little 20 followers. And he think he just talking to them. He's not, yeah, we think we, we think these kids equipped. I got to tell my seven-year-old 29 times the same thing that I told him for the past three or four years. Every day, I got to tell you this, a reminder every day until you get 10, 12 till you remember. You feel what I'm saying? Like, you don't remember yet. These kids are living childhoods like that. They don't remember discipline, different things to remember that I'm not supposed to do this. They're not even thinking like that. He's thinking he's showing off. You feel me? It's mm -hmm. no difference from us liking... Uh, uh, Scarface and all the movies and stuff like that being hard, right? I was an A student. But that dude who used to cuss out the teacher, not do his work sometimes, uh, beat up everybody, fight with some people, gang bang, sell a little drugs on the side the whole nine. I was infatuated a little bit like, 
Damn, you know what I'm saying? To where I talk, when I'm around him, I talk a little head. I talk a little, little harder. You know what I'm saying? Because I know what I do when I go back home. I know how I am there. But it's school, it's school. You know what I'm saying? That's how I feel. But when I go back home, I'm doing the wildest stuff. You know what I'm saying? So I, I can relate to him. I can talk to him at boom. But a lot of people want to live that life. And it's the same thing. It's like you got suburban kids wanting to just that. It's no different from a girl liking the gangster. She likes a bad guy. You know what I'm saying? The dude's the same way. We we get infatuated a little bit with the gang member. Like, man, you don't do it. But, yeah, you know what I'm saying? You can get led down that rope just because of the infatuation, bro. And that's what you got. That's what you're seeing. You're just seeing, I can't even call it followers no more. I just call it the it fact, like the, the thing to do. It's almost the cool. The cool, bad is cool. When it used to be called bad. He used to just be like, boy, bad. Like, that's bad. He bad. We all seen him in class. We all knew who it was. All that. In the neighborhoods, we know who the bad ones are. But now that we got social media, you got the cool. The Being bad is cool. And nah, that's it really picture. is. It really is. And, that, and that's well said. You know, I, I, I just pray, especially being an OG at this point in my life. Uh, like, like, when we was coming up, you was taught, do your dirt, but do it on the low. I, I just never thought I'd live to see a world where it, 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 it's cool to do your dirt and be bad in public like that, like to, for the whole world to see. And especially when, when once that thing is uploaded, once you hit record, it's there forever. It's like, it literally is there forever. And, you know, maybe it's just immaturity. Maybe to, to your point, it's the cool factor. But I just hope like, like a lot of these young brothers and young sisters, because they so out of control right now. I hope they understand that this is going to follow you forever. It's going to be a day that you grow out of this and, and, and you're going to want to go for a job. But this is still there. It's going to be a day that you're going to want to clean up your act. But this is still there. So what's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.